Yeah, I told someone that loved um, Slipknot that they were about as uh, that they were about as metal as Miley Cyrus. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another anime reaction here on the Johnverse YouTube channel. It is AVR Squared, and we are here with our Bochi the Rock uh, episode 10 reaction. I'm Kyle, my wife, Christine. You guys should totally subscribe here on the... Excuse me. So should totally subscribe here on the Genreverse. Lots of great anime content, reactions, reviews, uh, live stream doing uh, gaming and stuff. We also have podcasts covering all sorts of things in geek, pop, culture, entertainment, even Star Wars on the Cantina. Um, LRMonline.com for all of your entertainment news needs. Uh, we write about anything and everything in geek pop culture entertainment podcasts go up there as well as uh celebrity interviews red carpet events from the lrm uh youtube channel and hey merch linked down below uh yeah we got three episodes left uh both happy sad happy because you know like wrapping it up get to finish a story that's always uh uh fun sad because it's a really good one you would love more content yes. um but also slightly happy because we'll get to hopefully replace this with another show new new content for you guys to uh uh check out um let's get into it og episode 10 I was going to say something's in your brain. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dream a little more realistic. Being being on stage potential, being a national treasure. That's a it'll take effort a lot a lot. Mm -hmm. Hold that bile. Mm -hmm. Are Halloween or, you know, spooky themed things at these festivals as common as anime makes it seem seem to be? I mean, I would I would dig it. I'm I'm a big fan of haunted houses and stuff like that. Uh, no, that's just the concussion. Yeah. Yeah, she'll want to do it. <laughs> Did you take the paper? No, it's still there. You've played out in public three times, including one nearly spur of the moment jam session. Easy said, easy. Mm -hmm. That dude loves his tropes. <laughs> you know, you know, 
the one the one trope he doesn't ever really do. I mean, he's kind of done it, but I don't think his his ego allows him to do it. And that's the hero getting his ass beat to with a, a an inch of his life, and then coming back for victory. Yeah. You know, Sid Sid doesn't really do that one. He might let people think he's getting close, but he never he never just kind of powers down to take an ass beating. Yeah. <laughs> Someone's going to collect that and turn it in for you. Yep. Exactly. Yeah. No, you asked the right people. Although for you, it's like... <laughs> The ending of high school is like a sweet release, I'm sure. But mm. yeah. yeah. Good to get out of your comfort level mm. I, uh, right now. I as 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 someone whose twentieth high school reunion already came and passed, not that my class did anything. <laughs> We're the worst. Uh the best. The best at being the worst. <laughs> yes. Okay, that <laughs> we, yeah. we were awesome. Um uh I have no interest in going back high school like it, if, I, if I had to go back and literally relive days it would be some of those times after high school those first few years minus Iraq <laughs> I've men, mentioned how I would love to go back to um, spend a day at a mall in like 97 98 with with the full mall treatment you know the the toy stores are still like KB toys is still still open you got Babbage's in there you've got the uh the uh the uh arcade and the food like I would love to go experience that and then maybe like a Saturday morning cartoon a thon in like ninety four or something. You know, like yeah. I would like to choose little moments, but go back and relive something completely, nah. Poor brain of yours. She she went cubist or whatever it's called, cubism, uh Picasso. Maybe the lush will have some encouraging words. Maybe. Oh, is it some sort of coupon? <laughs> A ticket. That's payback. <laughs> soju is that did she order soju like korean so soju because uh that'll mess you up <laughs> 
just drink to get through the social anxiety. Is that it? I don't know. Because she just, the older sister just said, you know, you don't, you didn't start drinking until you started doing concerts. That's not a good coping. No, and mechanism. if our girl, if our girl Bochi can do it, so can you. Oh no. I've known people like that that just like not not many, but I've known some who I'm, I won't say names, but where they know like every sub genre, every oh, sub yeah. sub genre, they mm. have this profound knowledge and it's just I mean, like oh, psychedelic boy. rock's not really that much of a sub genre. No, what I'm just saying like yeah, they'll they'll yeah. break down music like that, even yeah. stuff to like like wow, I can't you you've done this to this extent that's yeah. crazy but yeah, yeah like uh oh it's funny like um they were talking about uh tropes there was this time when we um went to see all time low mm -hmm. in california and the only clean shirt i had was um the afi mm. shirt and then the, that one song came out with the music video where the the guy in the audience is wearing the fallout boy shirt. Like I'd rather be, Oh yeah. Uh, you know, seeing fallout boy. And I'm like, I kind of felt like attacked. I was like, it's the only clean shirt I had though. That's funny. But yeah, if you haven't seen that music video, you totally should. I don't remember the name of the song. though. I don't either. So <laughs> it was an all time low song, right? Mm -hmm. In 2000. So that, that would have had to have been, um, from their first full length album. I don't know. Something. Yeah, I told someone that loved um, Slipknot that they were about as uh, that they were about as metal as Miley Cyrus. Dude, dude, lost it. Like, you don't know what the you're talking about. I freaking Slipknot's the greatest freaking metal heavy blah blah. Just like, dude, my my favorite band is Newfound Glory. It's not that serious, man. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm. I'm not even a metal. I mean, don't get me wrong. Slipknot is as like top forty pop metal as you can freaking get. That's not not a bad thing. It's, it's not necessarily my thing. And you know, you can listen to some like Cannibal Corpse, some Demi Borgir. You could listen to some Macabre. You could li listen to some King Diamond, Merciful Fate, um, Death Clock. Yeah. You know, uh, even The Devil Wears Prada is really good. So like. I, I like metal. I'm not necessarily a slipknot guy, but it but again, my 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 newfound glory is my bag, you know, like come on now. Don't get all upset about it. But yeah, music music fans will get brutal over it. Mm-hmm. This would not be psychedelic rock. It is a borderline grunge. Maybe it's just the particular song, like how sometimes uh, Coheed and Cambria, you know, mm. or like um, Less Than Jake, where they kind of like, it's not like, you know, strict. Yeah. You know. Yeah. 
yeah, this is much more. Gr- and sure, you might even be able to point to to grunge as kind of like a modern version of psychedelic rock. But yeah. Do not suggest to this girl that drinking is the solution to her. I'm sure she's not. (laughs) There you go. Told you. Yeah. 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 Listen to the drunk. You're not going to say that or hear hear someone say that too often, but listen to the drunk. <laughs> She's too poor to eat. <laughs> Uh, somebody buy that girl a cheeseburger. She won't pay you back, though. I, I, that's why I said cheeseburger. Bowl of rice. Hot dog. Something. <laughs> a french fry. Girl, you know I can't have fries. You know, it's funny. Some people joke about, you know, sharing a plate of fries. Um, Like, you'll you'll see it maybe, like, in a movie or a TV show. I've never seen that, nor would I ever want to be a part of that. <laughs> I will order my own fries, and I'll be damned if you touch my plate. And she'll still steal some of mine. Yes. Well, your fries are the best. Because <laughs> they're not mine. God. Uh, to be fair, American portions tend to be shareable when it comes to restaurant fries. Yeah, that and I won't touch it, you know, unless like you're done. Yeah. Then she discovered alcohol. <laughs> God. I hope. I hope I'm joking. Oh no. Oh no. <sighs> I guess we'll find out where she is and what she's been up to next time. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think there's anything at the at the end. Nope. Just the uh advertising for the next episode. Yeah, that sucks. I mean you can you can have all the confidence in the world, um and have it leave you just like that. So seems to be what what kind of happened with her um two episodes left we'll hopefully get to record those in in relative uh short order um and then uh yeah whatever comes next 
I think we've mentioned what we wanted to do somewhere, maybe on Discord, maybe in a video. I don't know. Join our Discord, watch more videos, and maybe you'll find out. Uh, check out all of those videos here on the Genreverse YouTube channel. Anime reactions, reviews. We've got uh, some Star Wars content from the Cantina here. Uh, lots of cool stuff. Live streams as well. Uh, LRMonline.com houses our podcasts as well as celebrity interviews and uh, uh, entertainment events, red carpet type stuff from uh, the LRM YouTube channel and written entertainment articles covering anything and everything in geek pop culture and as well you can find in the description box our link to the merch. Uh, Kyle's not Englishing very well so no, I'm, no, gonna, you're not. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say Kyle, Christine, bye. Bye. <laughs>